everybody, welcome back. We got another unboxing, and guess what we got? We got Comic Vento. All right, so look, uh, the last one was amazing. It's, well, it's turned out to be amazing. I called it. Like I said, I wasn't. I was a little bummed. It was all a publisher spotlight, and it was all one company that I'd never really heard of or really read. But man, I read that first graphic novel, and I am hooked. I love all those characters. I'm starting to buy the digital rest of those, so I can actually read through those novels with all the in-between parts. So you know, this is already working the way it's supposed to. It's exposed me to things I didn't know. I did a review on that. I've turned some other people on to some Valiant comics, and I feel good about that. So. Awesome. Also, I've turned some of you guys on to Comic Vento, and I'm excited about that. Uh, the other thing I want to say is this came really early. I'm actually shooting this. This came like the last couple days of July. This should be the August box, unless my last box was actually a May box that I got in the middle, of, I mean a June box I got in the middle of July. So I'm kind of confused because this came really close after the other one. It's only been two weeks, three weeks, something like that. Anyways, I'm glad they shrink wrapped these things and I'm glad they're like tightly packaged because the post office just had a field day stomping all over my box and leaving it out in the rain. Half the shipping label is like what, uh, drained off in the rain, so I don't even know how they figured out where the hell it goes, but luckily they did and it is here and I am excited. Um, I have no idea what, I can't remember what the theme was, like robots? I think it was robots, so maybe we'll get some transformers or something, that'd be pretty cool. I do hope we get a variety this time though, because that would be nice, that would be the one, the one complaint from the first box, although like I said in hindsight, now that I got familiar with all that, I'm glad I have all four of those books, so very, very exciting times. Okay, well you know how this works, right? There's gonna be four graphic novels in here. I forgot I gotta slip things on the side. This is the only second time I'm ever opening this box. Um, so basically, what was it? I forget what it cost, damn it. Um, <laughs> it's really inexpensive. I wanna say it's like 20 bucks or something. That may even include the shipping. God, I wish I had remembered to look. But I think you get like 15% off your first order if you use my link and I get like some bonuses. So I'll put that link down there in the description if you wanna check this out and find the prices and all that stuff. You know how it is, it's like all the boxes, they're different tiers if you go a month, three months, six months. The one complaint I have is I went with the six months because at the time that was all they had and you had to pay shipping. And like within a week after they added a 12 month option where shipping is free, you know, so it's like the same cost of six months but you don't pay the shipping, so it's like Bleh. So I'll have, to go up, I'll have to try and upgrade to that because I'm gonna keep this box, I'm loving this box. Uh, hopefully I will continue to love this box. So let's get in here and uh, feel around. Uh, that is just padding. Okay, that is just padding. I was like, wait, are they putting something in here that's not, you know, comics? That's weird. Um, so we definitely got the four box, uh, four books. They are definitely shrink wrapped. And so I kind of need to find a way to very carefully, uh, without looking, without spoiling the surprise, I gotta come in here, I'm gonna kinda slit the bag open and try not to stab myself and bleed all over these things. And see if I can tear it open enough where we can start pulling these things out one by one and see what we get. Uh, just being very careful not to actually look and ruin the surprise for myself. Okay, there we go. I think I can do this now. All right, so yep, there are definitely one, two. Wait, there's only three books in here? No, there's one. That's weird. I think there's one under the cardboard. That's kind of an awkward way of doing it, but we'll find out what that is in a minute. All right, let's just pull off the top book and see what we get. All right, cool. This is another one of those. Oh, it's a, it's a Comic Vento exclusive. Uh, bubble Gun. Okay, Aspen Comics, they like the tech, but live for the high stakes. Here's the cover if you guys wanna check that out. So uh, this is normally a $12.99 graphic novel, so that's pretty cool. Sisters Molly and Devin, along with teammates Roman and Kyle, or Kayo, and a stockpile of cutting edge cyberpunk technology from a confident team of mercenary thieves able to take, oh, form a confident team of mercenary thieves able to take on the most formidable jobs around. Yet when one cyber heist turns out to be more than they bargained for, as a mysterious package and its contents threaten to unravel the group to its core, the menacing worlds of the corrupt uh, industry and deadly espionage is unleashed upon them. Uh, there's more to read, but I don't need to read it all for you guys. Uh, but yeah, okay, this is pretty cool. Let me just thumb through here. Yeah, the art looks really nice. Kind of an interesting style here, a little bit more cartoony, very colorful. I think that should be a fun read. Uh, they got this little kind of smiley face thing that kind of reminds me of Cowboy Bebop, so that's cool. Uh, we'll see if it's like exclusive art or an exclusive book. I guess it's an exclusive art. It would be weird to be an exclusive book to Comic Bento, but we'll check the card when we're done. All right, what do we get next? What are we pulling out next? Next we are pulling out, ooh, this looks a little more up my alley. It came. This book looks amazing. Oh, that's a <laughs> oh, I like that it's directed, so it's like a movie, like a 1950s uh, sci-fi B movie. That's gonna be a lot of fun. This is from Titan Comics. Is that the same people that do Titan Vinyls? Because that logo looks very similar. Uh, here's the cover as I read you the back. Uh, a robot monster from Mars, possibly, has arrived in England's pleasant pastures, bringing giant knuckle sandwiches of exotic metal to the land of crumpets and bunting. Awesome. Uh, Dr. Boy Brett, pipe smoking astro... <laughs> Astro Boffin and his skirt-wearing sidekick, Doris Knight, are all that stands in the way of, his, of this comic colossus. 
two mortals trapped in a war of the worlds, challenging the unearthly fury of cosmic entities gone mad. Yeah, guys, I like that. That's going to be cool. Uh, it may be a couple different stories. Let's see. We're going to kind of thumb through here a little bit. Oh, I like that it's actually like black and white kind of art, you know? So it's kind of got that vintage style to it, but still very modernized. Um, actually, no, this may all be one big scene, uh, one big movie. So hopefully that's one contained story. That'll be really cool. I like that. All right, that's cool. A couple indies. I, I do hope we, you know, get some DC and Marvel mixed in here on occasion, though, guys. I don't want it to be all indie, but you know what? Forget it, because everything I've read out of here has been fantastic so far. So hopefully they will continue to be great and not let me down. This next one's thick. Let's see what it is. Ooh, oh, big bucket of win. We got Voltron year one. Um, so, you know, Mary and I just finished up actually watching the new Netflix series recently, and it was amazing. And we're very, very excited for the second year. Oh, this looks great. Um, obviously, this is not tied into the comic or anything. It looks very different, but it's going to be nice to kind of get a little more uh, in information into year one. I'm not even going to read the back because, I mean, come on, it's Voltron. You're on my channel. You, you know what Voltron is, so you don't need to know anything more about it than that. Keith, Lance, Hunk, Sven, and uh, Pidge. Yep, there we go. Five young men entrusted with uh, five powerful robot lions. No spoilers, people, uh, for the people that don't know. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, very, very cool. So this is from Dynamite Comics. Oh my god, this is like a $20 book usually. And it looks like it. There's some fantastic art in here. That's really, really gorgeous. Okay, I, I, that's the one I'm most excited to read quite often. Well, I don't know. It Came is pretty good too. So okay, I'm going to pull these cards out, but I'm not going to look at them and slide them under the box because it is weird that this other comic is like under the cardboard divider. You know, the three were on one side, this other one is underneath. It's also slightly different. It's like, instead of the spine being on the long side, the spine is on this side, so that's interesting. But uh, only one way to find out what it is, and that is to pull it out the box and see. I'm a rocker, I rock out. Okay, uh, a Diesel Sweeties Treasury by R. Stevens. All right, smarter than you. Interesting. Humor comic strip. This is another $20 book. So, I mean, I'm telling you guys, this thing is so worth the money. Independent releases recorded recorded on meat products. Interesting. All right, let's uh, thumb through here a little bit. I'll see if I can find you something to read. Oh, the whole thing is... I'll show you pictures. This is all done in the 8-bit style, so that's kind of cool. Why is it I want to listen to the 8-bit version of the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack while I read this? <laughs> I don't know, that just seems, that just seems, oh, you know what, Scott Pilgrim is advertised in the back, so it's definitely from the same company, so that's kind of interesting. All right, let's see. Uh, presenting the first collection of Diesel Sweeties, the long-running and pioneering webcomic that was into pixel art before pixel art was cool and made fun of hipsters before you even knew what that word meant, all in, in vintage book format. All right, yeah, that'll be a fun read, too. Okay, cool. Um, you know, no no big titles, no like DC, no Marvel, nothing in there, just the, the stuff. Um, but overall, very, very excited about those. I think the bubble gun is like the least interesting one, but again, once I read it, I might be wrong. It might be amazing. So, uh, let's see. This is definitely the robot book, and it came as a Titan Comics. Bubble gum is a uh, Aspen MLT Incorporated. Okay, sure. Uh, Diesel Sweeties is Omni, Omni Press. And Voltron Dynamite Entertainment. So what was it? It was uh, the gun one, uh, bubble gum. Uh, da, da, da. So it, hmm, interesting. It doesn't really tell me anything about it being an exclusive because it said it was, you know, the cover says it's an exclusive. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it's exclusive art and not an exclusive book because that'd be kind of weird if the only place you can get it is in here. Especially if it's something that's going to continue and people want to read, you know, get start up from the beginning. So awesome. But anyways, this was a bit more what I was looking for from that first box, even though that first box was amazing, that we're actually getting a variety that's all in theme. So very, very excited about that. Um, some of these I really can't wait to read, particularly Voltron and It Came. But I think this uh, I'm a rocker, I rock out. The Diesel Sweeties thing is going to be a really fun uh, kind of read. I have a feeling that's one of those things you can just read a few pages here and there if you only got a second or two. So awesome. Good on you, Comic Bento. Okay, well, I love it. I'm very happy about it. What about you guys? Are any of these things you're terribly excited for or now that you're curious about? You want me to specifically review any of these for you guys? Let me know. I'll make that video happen. Let's geek out about it down in the comments. Let's just have fun doing that, all right? Cool. Hit that thumbs up button. Give me that thumbs up of encouragement. It's always nice to be encouraged. Subscribe if you're new here. We do all kinds of fun, nerdy, geeky stuff every single day on the Eric Butch channel. And of course, share with your friends so we can all geek out and nerd out together and learn about all these cool things I had no idea about. And, you know, maybe you can school me on them. So, good times. Other than that, you want to help support the channel, you want to get more videos than you're getting, check out my link to Patreon. You might like what you find. You might not. No pressure. Just letting you know. Well, all right, gang, I'm going to get out of here and I got some reading to do. So I'll see you guys later.